<laughs> Let's move on. <laughs> Let's talk about Ron Gatecrest, who basically, um, you know, Julianne Hope is spilling tea. So Ryan Seacrest is reportedly on the defense after Julianne Huff, his ex-girlfriend of three years, you know, they dated, in case y'all need a reminder, dated from 2011 to 2013, recently spilled the tea on their relationship. So I didn't think she was ever going to come out and say some stuff about the relationship, but apparently she did. So shout out to Raider Online for this story. So Ron Seacrest is hurting the feel um, and feeling his manhood has been slighted after ex Julianne Huff belittled their three year romance. And now Raider Online can reveal the new Wheel of Fortune host fears other ex girlfriends will spill his tightly kept secrets. An insider says he can't understand why she did this to him and thinks she owes him an apology. When Ryan breaks up with someone, the one thing he counts on is discretion. He doesn't want people scrutinizing why he's still single at his big age. They ain't say big. I just added that in there. <laughs> he said he assumes everybody's laughing at him. I'm going to laugh at you. The 36-year-old Dancing with the Stars, Huther, who's now co-hosted the show alongside Alfonso Ribeiro, dated the 49-year-old media mogul from 2011 to 2013 and recently said she made herself smaller and twisted herself up into the type of girl she thought Seacrest wanted. Hub said, I had this insecurity, and so I then started playing smaller, so I was malleable to, fill into, to fit in exactly what somebody needed me to be for them to be happy. But her shocking confession left the American Idol host fuming. A source said Ryan stunned that she would attack his masculinity that way. He feels he's been made to look like a fool and a jerk. Truth is, it wasn't a flaming romance. What they had was a glorified friendship, but he thought they had a deal to respect each other. Child. Now, when you go and say y'all had a glorified friendship, was there no, so that mean there was no sex involved? But this is why, see, now you want to know something. I hate you, um, Raider Online, because it just, this sprinkles some homosexual type of undertones up in this situation. When you go and say, she basically said she had this insecurity. Let's bring it on there. So she said I had this insecurity, so I then started playing smaller, which is what happens when you're a man of a certain age dating these young girls. And I always feel like, if that is a situation that happens when the older man gets with the much younger girl in a relationship and vice versa, where it's like, oh, well, the person who is within the industry and is older has the upper hand because they know how to move around and maneuver and they can manipulate a lot of these young gullible people because they don't know no better. They still trying to figure out, you know, how to wipe their own ass with which right with the right tissue to wipe their ass with, I should say. I say use dude wipes. That's what I use. <laughs> keep that booty nice and tight and clean. Because regular tissue don't keep your booty hole clean. Just to tell me what it is. Y'all got to use them wet wipes. Because nobody wants dingle bells. So, um, with that being said, you know, with Ryan in his situation, and then they go and say that it was more like a friendship. So if you want a relationship with somebody and it just comes into like y'all just basically friends, I'm like, there was no kind of romantic situation. Like you ain't get her moist. Like it just seems like when it comes to Ryan, it's just like, I don't get sexual from him. I don't get any kind of sexy anything. And here's the thing. There's nothing wrong with someone being a forever bachelor. Not everybody is meant to walk down an aisle and get married. And that should be fine. So we're not clowning him over that, but yeah, there, we cannot sit and uh, not address the elephant in the room, which would be that when it comes to relationships with, uh, with you know, some people, when you get to be a certain age, why you ain't have no kids? Why you ain't get married? Why you ain't do that? We got to stop putting that off on people because people insinuate that with, oh, you're gay or you got issues or something, whatever, or something or another. And it's like, yeah, I think a lot of times we need to realize that not, not everybody is meant to bring children into this world, not everybody is meant to get married. And it's probably a good thing that some people decide not to have kids. You see what's going on? Like, we already two weeks, not even two weeks, into the school year, and already we have a multitude of, sh of school shooters. What y'all do? Wait the whole damn summer to, to end before y'all want to go and start pow powing people? So, maybe it makes sense in that whole situation. So, but here's the thing. 
if he's worried about his masculinity, I don't think it has nothing to do with your masculinity. I just think that that she should be able to feel how she feels and address that. Is that maybe it was in her head that she felt? I'm sure. Who knows if he maybe subconsciously put that on her. But when you're young and you're insecure and you don't know where you fit in a relationship, especially when Ryan Seacrest for a long time has been someone who has been deeply influential and has had a lot of power in Hollywood, basically get, got like 5,000 damn jobs. He's like one of the hard, the biggest working and hardest working moguls in media right now. Like how many damn jobs this man got? He got between, well, he ain't doing Kelly Ripper show no more. <clears throat> she got her global ass husband doing that. So it's like between his radio show and all an American Idol and now Wheel of Fortune, which I don't even know if they, did they start that season yet? Or does that season start tomorrow, which would be Monday? So between the minute, you know, and then and you know, with all the jobs he has, um, I can understand why she was feeling like at the time, well, she he ain't had all them jobs back when they were dating, but he still had an equal amount of jobs while they was together. And her trying to figure out her way in the whole situation. I'm sure a lot of those insecurities were falling on her because she was relatively new. She was just a regular old dancer trying to find herself, you know, her way through Hollywood. And to me, it's just like no different than a like a Taylor Swift, Travis Kelsey type situation. Although Travis Kelsey figured out where he fits in the situation and he's come to terms when he's okay. And that's why his career is thriving. There's no incident from what we know. There's no insecurity on his part. He's well secure in his situation where they don't have to deal with, you know, the insecurities or whatever the case was, well, at least in public. Maybe in private, he's feeling that way. But if he, if, if that is something that he's going through, you know, he's real, he's a real good actor and he's real good at hiding it. So I will say this, that he do got a girlfriend. But it, uh, wait, hold on. They said the upcoming Wheel of Fortune host also split with Aubrey Page, who's 26 in April after three years and previously dated food blogger Shayna Taylor for eight on and off years until their breakup in 2019. So he has an affinity for being, you know, he pushed 50 and dating all these young girls, but we're not going to get all that mad at him because look at Le look at Leonardo DiCaprio. Aren't they about the same age dating girls in the same bracket? I said, I think um, Leonardo DiCaprio's girlfriend is like 26. I was like, wait a minute. You, she passed the age that he usually puts his girlfriends out the pasture because the, the joke was always that he goes only up to 25. And once them girls hit 25, you know, he sends them on their way with the little gift bag. But what I don't understand is, Ryan, if you were that insecure, according to this thing, about your manhood and people spilling your tea about your bedroom secrets or whatever the case was, like if you like third input or if you like a girl to strap it on, third input is, you know, you like it in the bud. Yes, yes, bud. Or, <laughs> or if you like, you know, somebody fingering your prostate or putting on a strap, you know, getting the strap in the words of 50 Cent. Like, if you um if you into all that other stuff, like I would think at your big age and as powerful and influential as you are in the industry, that you would at least have all your girlfriends sign NDAs. Like Beyonce, all of them, they'd be having people sign NDAs when they're in a relationship. Why did you think to do that? Because if you don't want your secrets to get out, that's what you do. So I say all this to say, what do y'all think of this story? I mean, do you feel that Julianne was out here, you know, spilling tea? By the way, I don't even think what she said was that bad. She was just giving her experience of how she felt being in that relationship, that she had to make herself small to make him feel big or whatever. So maybe he don't know on a conscious level, or maybe say subconscious, that he was putting things out there that made her feel a way, saying things to her that could have been passive aggressive. She was picking up on it, and she was just deeply insecure, which is what happens when you are in a relationship, especially when you're young and the man is a lot older and you're looking to him as more like a mentor or, or influencer or whatever to help you navigate through Hollywood. But, you know, according to the whole situation with, you know, there's been stories and drama about how Vanna White and Ryan aren't getting along behind the scenes and how Ryan is a control freak and he's not trying to be Pat say Jagger, he wants to do things his own way. Which I think if you're going to be on Wheel of Fortune and you want to keep that show going, you as a host have to kind of bring your own flavor to the show. You can't try to do what he does. It's the same thing. I'm going to bring it back to Emily Armstrong and Chester Bennington. If you want to come in and be the new member of a band because the old member is no longer able to perform because he's not in the union no more, 
then you have to be able to bring your own sense of who you are to the band. And that's your thing. You can't come in and try to be like what that person did. Because the minute you try to come and try to be Pat Sajak, the people go cuss your behind out on social media and just drag you down to the floor. So I say all this, what do you think of this story? Whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments down below.